Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So today I'm going to be showing you how to provide access to your YouTube channel, whether you want somebody to manage your channel, to view, to edit. It basically allows you to give permissions to your YouTube channel without having to give them your actual Google user ID and password, which could definitely be a huge security risk. Now before, the only way that you could do this is if your YouTube channel was a brand account. Now I have done other videos before on a brand account on moving your individual YouTube channel, which is what you have whenever you sign up uh, to become part of YouTube and then versus a brand account. And I'll briefly touch on the differences between the two at the end of the video. And so it's super easy to do now because YouTube has updated it to where you can actually add and remove users, provide permissions to your YouTube channel. So all you have to do is once you're in YouTube Studio, you'll come down here to Settings. And then under here, you see this option for Permissions. So when you click on that, you see this thing right here where it says Invite. So now whenever you click on Invite, you're going to see an email box and then Access. Now in this case, you just have to put the email of the person you actually want to manage or you know view your channel and it has to be a Google or Gmail account but this is what's cool under access you could currently choose from one two three four five technically it's actually three rows but there's limited as well and I absolutely love this because this allows you to let people manage your channel allow people to edit or just view your channel and there's also limited permissions as well as you can see here for editor and viewer and this is really powerful especially if you have a business that you're running with your YouTube channel or maybe you just want to hire somebody to manage your channel because that's not something that you want to really spend your time on or maybe you just want people to look at things in your channel this is really awesome and it allows you more permissions or more roles uh, than we used to have and the great thing is you can also remove access to your channel as well so if you decided that this person no longer needs to manage your channel or have access to your channel, you can remove this without having to worry about them having access to your account using your personal uh, Gmail account. And so this is a very powerful feature and one that I have been waiting for for a while, but now it's here. So now let me show you the main differences between uh, this setting for pretty much every YouTube channel versus a brand account. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So now we head over to our brand account. It's pretty much the same thing. You go into settings and you go to permissions, but you're going to notice a difference. So in this case, you could manage your YouTube channel the previous way for a brand account or you can move your permissions to YouTube Studio, which is basically what I just did before. Now, eventually I'm gonna move my permissions, but I want to show you how it worked previously and really what the main difference is. And so whenever you click on Manage Permissions, you come here to your brand account details, and then you come here to Manage Permissions. And here, you'll go to Invite Users or this dot with uh, these people here. You click on it. And then it pretty much works the same. You just put in the email that you want. But the biggest difference here is the roles that you have. So you have the manager and communication manager, which is basically the same as the view role and editor role and also the manager role. But the biggest difference here is owner. So if you have a brand account, you could actually, you know, transfer ownership, you know, so say, for example, you had a YouTube channel that you wanted to sell to somebody. Well, you could do it this way. You know, you could just assign them, uh, you know, uh, this channel to their email address, and that's it. And so that is the biggest difference right now between a regular individual YouTube account versus a brand account, and also the different roles and permissions that you can provide. So that is it for this particular video. Uh, I really feel that this is a great feature that I think a lot of uh, YouTube channel owners wanted to have, but now it is available without having to go through this whole process of uh, switching over your individual channel over to a brand account. But there's still some differences, and I would say advantages for probably 
much bigger channels or maybe you wanted to transfer ownership in the future there still definitely is a value in having a brand account at least for now and so if you wanted to see how to move your individual account over to a brand account i will leave a video in the description area below but other than that i think for most people just having the standard permissions are more than enough for the majority of people and once again this is a very welcome feature so if you actually had any thoughts on this be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you wanted to see more of my youtube tutorials and tips i do have a playlist i'll leave that in the description area as well so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe hey geeks if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on youtube and other places on the internet then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.